And I am back, let's see. Oh, by the way, it looks like another uh, quest marker thing has shown up over here. In this, uh, in this central bridge area place thing. Uh, let's go see what this is all about. Anything, guys? Can I talk to you? Oh, I see there's a... Uh... No, I did not say to do that. You there! What can I help you with? I'll fill you in on what we know about the Black Blade mercenaries hired by the sword bearers. They have about 4,000 soldiers stationed in these lands. They are split into at least five units that we know of. The first, a unit led by the Swordmaster, the commander of the Black Blades. They are powerful, elite troops. Next is the unit that conquered the East City using Toxic Mist. We are very aware of the danger they represent. They have not been seen in recent years, which is cause for concern. Then there is their naval force. They are rarely sighted in battle. But after the Temple of Fire was attacked, there were reports they made several attempts to approach it from the sea. We also believe that the Black Blades has a covert unit specializing in assassination. Many shield bearer officers have been slain in the past four years. We think this unit was also responsible for killing the Fire Vestal. Last of all, there is the unit led by someone I care not to mention. Huh? If you're around long enough, you'll learn all you need to know and more. Best to see for yourself. What can I help you with? There's a good reason that the lines of battle were drawn at this bridge. Three roads run north to south across this land. One each to the east and west of you and this one in between. The central road that this bridge is built upon is wider than the paths to the east and west, and it serves as our main thoroughfare. The colossal weaponry the Black Blades have given the sword bearers is too large to be hauled down any other road. I see. So the enemy was forced to target this bridge to make use of it? Precisely. We made this bridge our last line of defense, and the main body of the shield bearers guards it. The sword bearers need to cross the bridge, so they cannot attack it directly. This strategy results in the least casualties for our forces. But even if you halt the advance of their main contingent, wouldn't it be easy for smaller units to slip past by other routes? Correct. Small squads we are not aware of present more danger than the vast army we face before us. What can I help you with? What do you mean? The enemy forces attacking the bridge. Oh, I see. The shock troops led by that brassy young woman. Our intelligence suggests she is a high-ranking member of the Black Blades. That girl is one of their officers? Don't underestimate her. She uses the power of song to bolster her soldiers and weaken ours. The power of song? Yes. Her songs can be quite troublesome. All of our soldiers that hear her sing become confused. The sword bears bombard us from the opposite bank when they see us in disarray. We've suffered great losses from these attacks. Songs that inspire allies and confuse the enemy. She must have quite a voice. I'd like to hear it myself sometime. So it doesn't bother you that she's a foe? I hope her honeyed tones send you tumbling off the bridge. I have no ulterior motives, I swear. So, if you silence this girl, would that swing the battle in your favor? Unfortunately, she is protected by a formidable force, and the narrow bridge makes it impossible to get close. Then, let us try. When 
to pull back now, or we'll be obliterated! I'm afraid we weren't able to break through. If it is beyond even you, then we are out of options. If only we could shut her up! Alright, <clears throat> let's see. That was interesting. It's a rather long cutscene. I don't know if it especially, uh... Oh, it did. I see out in the middle of the ocean now. I'll go back to the boat. Alright, wonderful. Back out into the open ocean, and, um... By the way, I made a Tiz a knight now. A different asterisk. Not necessarily because I wasn't having fun with the summoner, but because I also thought the knight looked kind of interesting. Alright, yeah, Tiz. I'm probably... I'm, de I'm almost definitely better off if I just, like, let him do one thing and focus on that. But... I see we gotta go to the bar. I, I do really want to have fun with all the different asterisks and not just be confined to a couple of them. Hey, have you ever heard of the Siren Song? I have. A strange voice you hear out at sea, right? Sailors who hear the song become captivated by it and throw themselves overboard. It's a common tale. That's right. The Siren Song that causes all to cast themselves into the sea. When I was even younger than you are now, there was a time it was heard throughout the whole ship. A siren song? Was everyone okay? It caused great panic among young and old. But a traveling bard who happened to be aboard said something that calmed everyone down. All you have to do is sing above the siren's voice. <laughs> Brilliant, isn't it? He conducted us in song with his baton all night long, and the siren was defeated. Wow, that's quite a story. Where did the bard go? Uh, who knows? He set off again soon after. One of the elders here might know. Alright, so this is a very uh, music-themed side quest. You there! Anything interesting to say? Okay. Anchime? So, uh, does that mean we gotta go back to Anchime? Alright, let's see if the quest markers change when we go outside. Anchime? Haven't been there in a while. I don't think I remember anybody who's, like, musical out there. Um, anyway. So, the, uh, the marker by the door over there is gone, so let's go and see... Does anything else appeared on the world map for us to go and have a look at? All right, yeah, Anchime. I'll see you there. All right, here we are in the city of wind and clocks and gears and things like that. Um, you there? You who I supposed to be talking to? Really? So, uh, we're going to Caldisla, I suppose. See what, uh, they got to say.
Uh? Alright, I meant to go visit the inn to heal, but this triggered when I entered the inn in Caldisla. Haven't been here in a while. <laughs> That's nice of you. My injury isn't that bad, though. I'd been working non-stop, so I probably just overdid it. I'm not as young as I once was. If only my son was still alive. Huh? Well, I just got healed to full HP. You there? Yes, I am. Florm it is. And welcome to Florm once again. And up on the stage I see there's uh, somebody... Standing around, what do you want? Okay, I did not catch where we set to go after that because there's not a name I've recognized. Uh, but let's exit this town and uh, maybe we'll. I don't know, get one of those helpful things on the map telling me where to go? I don't know. But, I hope this is, uh, not going to, like, chase me around the map too long. I do want to get over... Oh, I see. It's all the way on the other side of the map. In that other city! Well, I guess that's what its name is. It's like Heat Child or whatever I didn't see. I'll see you over there! All this time later! You there! Alright, I have no idea where that is, but before I go and investigate, I do really need a heal. And we return once again to this bar on the ship to just sit out in the middle of the ocean. Ah, look who we have here! Oh, look what I found while cleaning up the place! Could that be the bard's baton? I wonder if we could borrow it for a while. Really? What for? I certainly don't mind, so take it. I doubt I'll ever get any use out of it. Thank you! Hey, there's something written on it. The most important thing is to have fun, it says. Alright, so I guess that was productive. Now if I had to guess, we're gonna go back to the bridge in the middle of that one city area region that's having the problems with uh, seeing people. Let's see if I'm right. Looks like I am and I'll see you over there. <laughs> 